Hello, artists everywhere. Today is day five of the artist boot camp for beginners and artists of all shapes and sizes. Well, first, let's look at the schedule. Do, do, do. Today is the fifth, Monday the fifth. We're going to be doing shapes and mannequins. And tomorrow, Tuesday, will be shapes, head and hands, mannequin, and anatomy study. So for today, let's get in our warm up, our stretches. So break out your pencil and paper or whatever program you use. And let's get started. Okay, got my shapes faded back to about 20%. Go to my drawing layer, hit B for my brush tool, and we're going to do some badly formed shapes. We're just trying to get some hand eye coordination and get ourselves warmed up. So, I hope everyone had a great weekend and is ready to learn. So shapes are the building blocks of everything you see. So we're trying to get comfortable with these basic building blocks. We'll do this every day for 28 days. So we can get our hand eye coordination and improve. Okay, that shapes. We're not gonna, you know, be very, we're not gonna labor over these things. We're getting it done so we can move on to more interesting things. So these are 3D shapes, building blocks, building blocks, one step at a time. Okay. And we're not concerned about perfection at this, at this moment. All we want is to build a habit out of this, build a routine. I will keep stressing that. The routine is, I think, one of the best ways to improve. And yes, these shapes are janky. I won't worry about it. We're just putting in the mileage. Because if we wanted perfection, we could have done it just in Photoshop by itself. But we're trying to train our mind and our hand to see shapes and make shapes. Okay. <laughs> and that is our daily warm ups for today. Now let's move on to something much, much more enjoyable. Okay, so. Today is mannequins. So let's look into at our artist bootcamp folder. And I have a file with mannequins in it. All right. Now, a mannequin is great because it is a proto human. All right. Usually they have 
Sometimes they have features, but most times they don't because you're supposed to, you know, put yourself in the mannequin's shoes and with the outfitter. I get, I think that's why they don't have faces. But this is a great way. Right? This is very simple, but it's a great way to break down right, the proportions of a, a human being. Where is everything placed? Where's the head, torso, hips, legs, arms, feet, All right? So this is the most basic, but some of them have, are more defined. Now, how do we get these things, All right? Well, we go to the internet. Now, I must give a disclaimer. This is for learning purposes only, right? Learning purposes only. Do not steal from artists, right? We're trying to build off of the work of others. We are not trying to steal from them. So let's see if I can. Okay, so we have mannequins. Now to build a reference file, right? We want, say, whatever f appeals to you. Mm -mm. So say, this one. And I press control while clicking on the photo and save image to downloads. All right, you can do that. Or sometimes I also take a, a screenshot and I'm not sure exactly what it is on a PC, but on a Mac, I believe it's command shift four. And I get this little this little uh, marker, and then I select what I want to just take a screenshot of, and I take that and it shows up at the bottom, and that is your screenshot. Now again, we're just doing this for, to train ourselves, All right? So my screenshot, and then you can take this into Photoshop or whatever program you use, blow it up, but we're gonna do that now. All right, so once you make, all you need is one for today, but in the future, get about nine. And because we'll be doing different ones on different days. So find ones with different, you know, different views. Like this one's looking off. It's not straight on, so different poses, All right? This is the most standard view, All right? So find ones that you like, and let's go back to Photoshop. Okay, for me, let's see, Brackens. Or was the very basic one? There we go. Okay. So I bring it in, hit return, and here we are, a mannequin. Now, let's take this down. Uh, put it in the wrong the wrong one, but this is fine. Okay, so I'll hit V, which is the move tool, and then hit a number. This is 50%, 40, 30, and 20% opacity. I'm gonna use 20%. So I'll make a new layer 
over the top of this and get a brush tool or a pencil tool. And so, right, ahead is, usually we start off with this circle, right? And then you can extend that circle to be an oval shape. But a circle is a good unit of measurement. And then usually the eyes sit somewhere halfway. And usually there's a dividing line to indicate where it's, is it looking straight on? Or is it looking, say, off to the side, a three quarters, right? And we use that center line to indicate which direction the person is looking. So the rib cage can either be, I've seen it done as a box, right? And you can also break this into have a, a center line, right, to indicate where is it also forward facing or right, is it a side, a side view? The hips, usually a, a rectangle or a box, right? And joints are usually circles. Circles for where it bends. So knees, elbows are, are circles. And feet are usually, you can do ankle and then a wedge for the feet. And then we do cylinders for arms and legs. Right. And this is the basics. Uh, that's right. So now you have an approximate human. Now, some people also do a an oval or a circle for the, the rib cage. But that is up to you. Whatever makes, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. Right? And, you know, hands and feet are usually difficult subjects to, to draw for most beginning artists. But that's why we're making head, I mean, we have head file, but we also want hands files for reference. All right, so take pictures of your hands in different positions and you can study from those. And it's also why professional artists, we, if you want to do a specific piece, you might also pose yourself as a model in that position of the, the art that you're gonna make to use as reference for lighting, uh, clothing folds, specific hands or gestures. But usually you can use a wedge. And that is the basics of a mannequin. And the, let's do a male because the proportions are slightly different. But wait, let's check out. So we have this is about how many heads tall? Not that one, two. 
About nine heads tall. But it can vary. But let's do next a male. Let's see. He's looking strong. This guy or this guy? Let's do this guy. Okay. So number two. V, well, enter V for the move tool and then two to make it 20%. And another layer. Actually, since it's on white, let's turn it up. Let's see, 30. 40, 50, let's do 50. Okay. So, got the letter, the layer, and brush tool, B for brush tool. And again, but let's do this one, uh, a rectangle for the head, right? Center line, line of sight, the eyes, the eyes. This could be the the eyebrow, nose, mouth. This could be the hairline, which is near the top of the head. Do we want to do a box? Yes, we'll do a box. Center line. For the pelvis, another box. Circles for joints. And cylinders for the arms and legs. But practicing from a, a mannequin, like if you're drawing this for about a week, will get you accustomed to the basic forms. the most general, basic forms of a human being. And also what's good about a, a mannequin is that there's light shading, right? It's lit so that, all right, this is the dark side of the head. Under the neck, there's darkness, right? So he's being lit from this side. but the, also the lighting simple. So that's, it's good to learn from. There it is. Let's turn it on. And that is our little, our little Pinocchio. Our little wooden boy or man. And that is the basics. All right. So let's look at the, oh, let's look at the schedule one more time. Okay, so that was shapes redid the shapes and took a look at some mannequins. Now we just did one mannequin, well two mannequins, but we want a, a file of nine. 
So work on that. That is your homework for tonight. To just get nine different photos. Uh, I think I find JPEGs work, work best. Uh, importing them into, say, Photoshop, whatever. But nine. But also, for tomorrow, get shots of your head and some hand shots. Because we're going to be drawing from those also. And we'll go over some basic anatomy. And that is what's on tap for tomorrow. Whew. We did it. We did it, guys. We learned. So, work on mannequins. Do have however many drawings of basic shapes on top of mannequins as you feel like just to get comfortable with the basic proportions, basic shapes on top of a very proto basic human being the mannequin. So I hope you learned something from that and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.